Now on Celtic TV we are all about football, hearing from the manager, players past and present and very rarely do we get the chance to encounter a gangster rapping superstar. But today is no ordinary day. As Celtic TV commentator Paul Cuddy caught up with none other than Soccer AM's golden boy Tubes. The funny man was up at Lennox Town to speak to the Celtic manager Neil Lennon and our man MC Cuddy was quick to show off some of his own rapping skills. Tubes, you are a Soccer AM legend um, and when you agreed to do this interview with Celtic TV uh, there was only one proviso and you said you didn't want to rap um, <laughs> because you're obviously on the other side of the camera. <laughs> um, so I take it you're just having a wee, a wee rest from the rapping then? Yeah, I mean I do... On Soccer AM I do like two interviews, there's, there's the rap, the gangster rap, and there's the sort of more serious side which I've just done with your gaffer. So um, I can think of a rap if you want one, but um, you know, it's up to you. Well actually what I was thinking of doing is that uh, I was going to give you a rest because obviously I respect your, your, your wishes not to rap, so okay. I thought maybe if I had a wee stab at it, and then you can maybe assess oh, yeah. my skills and, and see... Yeah, hit, you know, me, hit me up, hit yeah, me up. So I I'll just try and get into character, because yeah, yeah. it's obviously I don't do it every day, so... Cool. You are tubes, you rap when you can. I've got no rhythm, because I'm an old man. I'm an old man. <laughs> Give me some of that, brother. What do you think? That's amazing. <laughs> like the old man bit. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to say I grew the beard especially, but I just improvised, so... Oh, I thought it was like a stick-on. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. ah, right, it's real. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Nice one as well. To be fair, it's not my genre of music. I mean, if, if, I, if I knew you were coming up... You fooled me because you delivered that nicely. Thanks, thanks. No, no problem. If I knew you were coming up, I'd have brought the guitar up and maybe given you a wee bit of country and western music. But yeah. Uh, maybe another. Uh, next maybe time, another next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, now, you're, at, you're up here, obviously, uh, to have interviewed Neil Lennon. How did you, did you find that, speaking to the manager? Um, I met Neil when he was a player for you guys um, years ago. He came on the show, and I was like, "What, what a top, top guy!" And he still is. He's just showing a laugh, talking about obviously serious stuff about Celtic. Probably, well, definitely warrior on the league. Um, and then talking about giving a looking after a dog with a groin strain. So we've gone serious. We've gone, you know, a bit weird. But he's a great guy, yeah. a great manager as well. I mean, you probably couldn't get much weirder than discussing uh, treating a dog with a groin strain. I can't even begin to think how that subject came up in conversation. <laughs> Trust me, I've gone a lot weirder before. But um, yeah, it's pretty weird. But um, he wanted to be a vet um, when he was younger, before he wanted to be a footballer. So that's what we were talking about, sorting out a dog with a groin strain. Yeah, and just trying to throw him a few veterinary problems to see how he copes. Well, yeah. If anyone, any Celtic fans have got a dog that's ill, or a cat, bring him in. Neil will sort it out. You do realise there'll be a queue of people outside <laughs> Celtic <laughs> Park. Loads of dogs outside the training ground. Um, obviously, you know, as you mentioned, Celtic, top of the league, mm. um, going to win the league, and then the manager's profile, and, and also with the Champions League football, that gathers interest, I suppose, with Celtic down south. Yeah, I mean, I mean Celtic have absolutely, you know, they smashed it to pieces, they? so they're 21, 21 points ahead now. Yep. It could be 24 after the weekend, but yeah. It's uh, it's quite an impressive record, but um, you guys lost in the cup, didn't you? Which is a bit of a, yeah, bit of a blow. But um, I'm yeah. going to edit that bit out. Yeah, no, yeah. no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> on the go. I'm just saying that, no. and um, that was a shock for the people down south. But um, well, you know, to win the league by that margin is unbelievable. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, in terms of your own football uh, support and affiliations, what what team do you follow down south? I support Chelsea. Yeah, um, I didn't really have a choice to be fair. As soon as I popped out, my mum. I had Stamford the line next to me. That was my first ever photo. Which this the, uh, the Chelsea mascot. Because my dad was a, a massive Chelsea fan. He was actually the first person in the world who was in the paper to have his wedding reception on Stamford Bridge. Right. So I had no choice. Like he was a massive Chelsea fan. So um, I think when I was younger, one of my mates said I was a Spurs fan for a joke to him. Yeah, the, the guy was in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. He was seriously injured. I, yeah, I had no choice. Chelsea, I had a season ticket since I was five years old. So. Yeah. Good season for us as well. Yeah, we've got the league at the moment. You yeah. must be pleased with the way that, that Jose Mourinho's come back and, and the team's playing well. It was amazing, though, like, because when he came back, everyone was like, you know, the special one's back. But it did take time. We were like, we're not playing very well. We were still playing like we were under Rafa. And, but last two or three months, he's just got everyone working. He's got Eden Hazard turning into one of the best players in the world, working up and down the line. William just doesn't stop. He's like the Duracell bunny. And um, well, we're scoring goals as well. Everyone's saying boring, boring Chelsea. But if you look at the record, it ain't. 
In terms of your your, your own job, people must look at you, uh, you know, every Saturday and, and be envious because you look as if, you know, obviously all, all the guys seem to be enjoying themselves on the show and you get to go all over the country meeting some, you know, big football names, big stars of film and television and, you know, there must be times when you must pinch yourself and think, I can't believe this is happening. Do you know what? I, to be fair, I've got the, I'm the luckiest man in the world with my job because it is brilliant, you know, I mean, to be fair, I worked for free for four years. Make I reckon I made about two and a half thousand cups of tea, but it's got me to sitting here with you, so you know it's well worth it. Um, That's really nice of you to see. So no, 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 seriously, <laughs> touch me. But um, no, it's it's a, it's amazing. Like you know, when you walk out of a, a room, and you've just done a silly cheek noise to Denzel Washington, and he's got you in a headlock walking you down the Dorchester Hotel. You're thinking, you know, what's going on here? And like with the footballers as well. You know, just being up here today, Neil Lennon walks in, hello mate, it's like, it's weird, it is weird, because like, I'm not sort of one who goes out there going, oh, well, I'm on TV, but when people seem to know, famous footballers know you, it's, it's weird, it's strange, yeah. but I love it, mate, I love it, and it's a good laugh on Saturday mornings, um, just, out, just shout random stuff, <laughs> rip your top open, show the viewers your, your nipples, um, pest up fit girls. It's not a bad job. You're trying to spoil the magic. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's just stare at cars and go, oh, you're fit, and take your top off. You know, it's just, it's, I love it, mate. I love it. It's fun. Brilliant. And obviously just one final thing. If there's any time that you actually have to call in sick, would you think about, you know, giving me a call and I could come in as your reserve one weekend to do a bit of rapping? To be fair, mate, that is one of the best raps I've heard from, like, obviously because I'm signed to Death Row Records. Over in America, yeah. I see a lot of rappers and that, but you've you've nailed it. Yeah. So, so you, so you think Vanilla Ice will be worried? Definitely, definitely. As for MC Hammer, he's gone, he's gone. But um, why don't you come down and do one of the show with me? That would be fantastic. Bring the beard. Yeah, we we'll do it. Brilliant. Happy day. Excellent. Cool. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> nice one.